1990 came the Trafalgar Square poll tax riots. Class war, those who took part in the violence were working class heroes. The enemy is the ruling class, anyone with enough money or property not to need to work. The class war paper encourages attacks on rich people who move into traditional working class areas. The developers say that these developments are bringing money into the area, so people think, well, we'll have some of this money, we'll go and take it off the bastards who are moving in. And they see someone, you know, guzzling um, Indonesian seaweed in the local brasserie and they're scraping together money for a pint of milk. And they quite rightly say, let's have a bit of uh, redistribution of wealth in the here and now, not in some uh, visionary socialist society in the future. <laughs>
Nazis take a seat on a London council. The extreme right-wing racist British National Party has scored its first political success in Britain. In a council by-election last night, it took the Millwall ward of Tower Hamlets in London's East End. The area has been the scene of a string of vicious race attacks. A week ago, 17-year-old Asian Cadiz Ali was beaten senseless by a white gang and left for dead. He's still in a hospital with a coma. What can anybody do about it? Fight them, basically. But how do you mean, fight them? We'd say that the ideas that they put forward outside football grounds on working class estates have to be combated politically but also that they've got a physical agenda and that has to be met physically as well. People have to defend themselves against the fascists, they can't just turn the other cheek. Subjective factors that existed in Europe exist here. The only thing that will make a difference is the subjective factor, whether people are prepared to take them on or not. <laughs> 